How's it going everybody? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the FileZilla FTP client. Now, some of you might find it weird that we talk about FTP a lot in these videos, but you'd be surprised at how useful FTP is still in 2020. Uh, I use it a lot for SSH and transferring files over LAN. It's so much easier to just install SSH and then log in over FTP than having to deal with anything else. It's just the best. Still, which is kind of weird to say, but it still is the most reliable. And I use FileZilla for a lot of it because FileZilla allows me to, to batch, upload, and download and not have to worry about it. So if you want to get FileZilla installed, there are a lot of different ways. In this video, we're going to cover the Flatpak version. So make sure you have Flatpak installed. And once you do, you can do Flatpak search FileZilla. Now we can see if we maximize this, run it again because I cut it off. We can copy the application ID one more time. Application ID is pretty long. You can also just do sudo flatpak install filezilla and it's going to find what we need by looking for matches. So it'll look for a match. It's going to ask us, is this the one that we want? Normally I would say just copy the app ID, but uh, it's going to find it and it'll, you can just say yes. So yes again because this is what we want and it will download everything we need for FileZilla. And it, it's literally just three megabytes and then 12 megabytes. So once all of the installation stuff is taken care of with Flatpak, we can open up our file manager. I mean, our app menu. Don't know how I got those confused. <laughs> Type in FileZilla. Now from here, we can set up our FTP host and all of that. Now I don't have any servers to connect to right now at the moment, but if I did, I would put it in the host, username, password, and port. And as we can see, the latest version of FileZilla 3.4.6, that's the latest one out on Linux right now. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you were looking on how to install the FileZilla FTP client on Linux and you weren't quite sure, this is how you can get it done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.